On today's video, my wife got herself a deer and she's going to process it out herself. Hey there, outdoor YouTubers. Well, my wife, Marie, got herself a nice little buck and she wants to process it out herself. Now, my wife, Marie, is not totally new to processing or butchering up a deer. She has helped my dad and myself in the past with cutting up deer, but it's mostly been cutting up some of the steaks or getting some of the fat off the meat as we get it ready to grind up into burger. Now, another thing that my wife has done in the past is she has gutted or field dressed her deer before and she has skinned her own deer before. And we have done videos on both her gutting a deer and her skinning a deer in the past. And I'll leave some links below in the description of this video if you want to check either one of those out. So, since I already have videos of my wife doing those two things, we'll just start this video off with the deer already skinned. Now, this video is not meant to be an instructional video on how to cut up a deer. This video is meant to be more of an inspirational video. This video is meant to show that an amateur can cut up a deer and the basics of it might be a lot easier than you think. Now, my wife doesn't know what all the cuts of meat are called. She doesn't know exactly how all the bone structure sits, but that doesn't mean that she can't cut up her own deer. But in this video, we will give you some basic guidelines on what are some good options for the different parts of the deer. And we're also gonna try to keep it fun. Cause you'll be working with the knife. One drink you mean? Just, Just one, take one good drink. One good drink cause you're working with a knife. You can't be drinking too much. Now, if you do want more of a professional instructional video on how to cut up deer, my dad is a professional meat cutter and he has done thousands of deer. And we have done several videos on the subject of processing up a deer. And I'll also leave a link to our entire deer processing playlist down in the description of this video. In that playlist, you'll find videos on gutting, skinning, cutting up all the parts of the deer, making venison brats, making venison burger, making venison potato sausage. It's all in that playlist. But in this video, we're gonna keep it real basic. There's not gonna be a lot of stuff that you're gonna have to try to remember. And hopefully this video will give some of you outdoor YouTubers the confidence to cut up your own deer. Yep, that's exactly what you want to do. And then what about right here? Is this just kind of... Well, are you, are you hitting bone right there? No. I mean, you'll feel I it with the it. knife. Just keep cutting. As long as you're not hitting bone, you just kind of keep doing what you're doing. Yep, just keep doing what you're doing and keep a hold of it because it's going to come off here in a sec. Okay, so I'm going to go back behind that bow. Yep. Okay. Alright, so what does your dad do? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he likes to throw it. <laughs> sure. You guys are strong, you know. Yep. Once you get through the bone, and there, now you can use your knife the rest of the way. Now, one thing that you always want to remember when you're cutting up deer or fish or anything else is you want to have the table at a good working height. And this table is good for my size, but it's a little 
tall for my wife. So my wife stands on a little bit of a stool here to do this. Is that a good comfortable height then? It is. All right, very good. Now, we're gonna take a little break before we get started. So I thought this would be a good time to check out what's going on at my one and only sponsor, Camaro's Crawlers. Hey archery hunters, be sure to stop by Camaro's Crawlers and check out Ronnie Camaro's full selection of used arrows. And if you need to purchase your Michigan deer hunting license, be sure to stop by Camaro's Crawlers and Ronnie Camaro will direct you to a store that sells hunting licenses. Camaro's Crawlers has all your hunting needs covered. Right, yep. So Marie is gonna start off by cutting on this front shoulder. Now, we like to utilize venison front shoulders for grinding up into burger or possibly making up into roasts. With this particular deer, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grind these front shoulders up into burger. So really, all my wife Marie has to do is separate the meat from the bone. She doesn't have to worry about cutting in the wrong spot or doing anything wrong. She just needs to separate the meat from the bone and then we'll go back after and we'll kind of defat some of that meat that we got off those front shoulders. Venison fat does not have a good flavor like beef or pork and it really pays to take a little time and get the larger pieces of fat off of your venison. And again, this is not intended to be a how-to video. This is just kind of a, hey, you know, it's maybe not as hard to cut up a deer as you think, and really anybody can do it. So this is just kind of a video to kind of illustrate that. And I really wanted to cut because I will not get familiar with it if I don't. Yeah, the only way mm -hmm. to learn it is to do it. So, just. Yep, you got it. Okay. Anything on the inside? Well, little pieces, yeah. You can, you can skim the little pieces off here and there. Okay. And that'll all go into the grind. And don't forget to get those tenderloin steaks out from that chest cavity. Those are probably some of the best steaks that a deer has to offer. Should I go down deeper? Yep, just yeah, just keep coming across and then that and that pulls right out. Okay. Like that. Yep. Nice. Okay. Okay. Like yeah, and you can roll it right out of that fat. Like this. Most of the time, yep. Yep, should roll right out. Ooh, I think I see your dad doing this in my head. <laughs> <clears throat> Here you go. Well look at that. It's a nice Oh cut. yeah. <laughs> you got it. Yep. Perfect. All right. And then that, you know, that would be a good chunk to keep for steaks, you know. Okay. Now, these hind quarters have a lot more cuts of meat that can be utilized for steaks. Basically, a good rule of thumb 
is any of the larger muscle masses, any of the larger solid chunks of meat are good chunks to utilize as steaks. And again, if you want the real specifics on how to get all the steaks out of a hind quarter of venison, we've got a video that's exactly for that, and I'll leave a link below to that one too. And again, all we're doing here is separating the meat from the bone, and anything that doesn't come off in a big chunk, well, it can come off in a little chunk, and it'll work just great in the grinder. Yeah, and that's what you had left of that hind quarter bone. Mm -hmm. Worked it over real good. Awesome. Yeah. Then I'm just gonna cut this. Like I found a hair. Mm -hmm. And this is the one spot where I did help my wife out a little bit. The chunks of meat that would be going to grind, I did go through them and I got the larger pieces of fat off of them and cut them up into smaller chunks that would be appropriate for the size grinder that we have. So I kept the chickens that were killed last night. Mm -hmm. um, something obviously scared off the owl because he killed two. Yeah. Okay. And then Marie so went ahead like and that. got those back straps yeah, off of the deer. Like and those Am back straps or? or loin steaks, yeah. just as the name implies, deep. that's a really good cut out. of meat to stake up. Going. It's all the way to the bottom. That's looking good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. There. Ribs and the uh, spine. And it kind of sits in between those ribs and spine. We took this one out. Kind of shows you an idea where it's at. The second side that she pulled oh, out, just she actually out. broke that one yeah. up into two pieces. Have the meat fall on the ground. Yeah, right. Yeah, there's a little bit left in there and go back for that. And that's one of the beauties of cutting up your own deer. There is no one absolute way to do it. There's many different ways to do it. And you can kind of experiment on your own and see what works for you. All right, it's coming out nice. That's a real good cut. Yeah. And these are those loin steaks that you just pulled out. Yeah, and then that, that meat on the side of the rib, that's usually for grind. And then same thing with that brisket going up. That's kind of that brisket meat that can just come right off. That's good for grind. And then you can just keep cutting that meat off of the carcass. And a lot of this meat that's in and around the ribs, a lot of this meat that's in and around where the shoulders were, We'll be utilizing that for grind. And then we can, uh, we'll cut that rib section off. Okay. And then we'll, we'll take care of that neck. Okay. So now Marie is working on that neck and a lot of people do like to take the neck meat and make roasts, but we'll be utilizing this neck for grind also. There. Okay. That was some corn. And if you're at all curious on how to make up some venison roasts, well, we've got a video for that too. And we'll leave a link below for that one also. And just kind of peel it one side off this way and then the other side. And it is kind it is the spine, so it's all knobby. Right. So you just kind of got to work in and out around those knobs to get the most amount of meat. Okay. Yeah. All right. And now Marie is just going through and getting some of the fat off of those back straps. And then we're going to go ahead and cut them up for steaks. Okay, she's just for yeah. John looking forward. Yeah. So yeah, I do like that, and then I just start that timer. Awesome. Two minutes, I flip it for two more minutes. I don't do any more than that. I trust the temperature that I pick mm -hmm. and the thickness of the meat. Mm -hmm. And then it's just a matter of packaging the meat up. All right. 
はい Now, again, if you want a more technical explanation on how to go through the whole process oh, of yeah. cutting up a deer, we've got those links below that'll get you hooked up to that entire deer processing playlist. But hopefully this video showed you guys that even a couple amateurs like me and my wife can cut up a deer and maybe it's not as hard as you thought it was going to be. You don't have to know the names of all the cuts. You don't have to know exactly where all the bones are. You just take your time, utilize all that meat and you really can't go wrong. Anyways guys, hey, if you enjoyed the content be sure to like and subscribe. And also, remember to hunt fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter with my wife Marie Knetter for Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.